Hi everybody, Laura Basson here for Simon Says Stamp. So glad you're joining me. I got a fun project to share with you. Gonna be using one of these Hello Word dies from the Hello's die set designed by the one and only Kathy Zilski. I love her new release. I'm gonna partial die cut this Hello. So you can see how I put that in, but I leave my uh, top cutting plate halfway. A little sliver of that Hello Word die cut is still peeking out the bottom. Hard to see that, but that's how you partial die cut. You don't insert your die 100%. You leave a little smidge of it hanging out the bottom. And there you can see that it die cut almost all of the hello, but a little bit of the bottom is still uncut and it will remain intact. So I'm gonna pop out the innards of my H and E and double L. Now here you have to do a little bit of fussy cutting or as I like to call it, card surgery. This is where it comes in real handy, all those episodes of Grey's Anatomy. You feel like you're a surgeon. You got a nice steady hand with the craft knife. I'm kidding. Sadly, watching Grey's Anatomy does not help you with your fussy cutting of your card making. But uh, my daughter, now she would be a master if it did because she's my oldest one, Alex. She's 16 and she's in the whole season of life where you do the whole Netflix and chill thing for like 12 hours straight. And Mama Mia, Papa Pia, she can watch some... Um, she can do some damage with Grey's Anatomy or Friends or Gilmore Girls. Yeah, so uh, anyhow, I'm using my retractable craft knife here and just popping out the little excess innards that need to come out. Sometimes, I don't know if you're like me, but I can get a nice, smoother, controlled cut using my scissors than I can with my craft knife. But um, there are some cases where... You just need to do it with a craft knife. It's not too hard. I hope I'm not making it look harder than it is. They do pop out pretty easily. And there you have the partial die cut hello. I love Kathy's handwriting. Now I'm gonna take a piece of pattern paper. This is Lawn Fawn. I've actually been hoarding this particular piece of plaid paper for quite a while now, I finally decided to cut the cord and let go and just use it. But I just love, you know how in every pattern paper pack, I always have one sheet that I love the most out of all of them and I hoard it. I just save it because I love it so much I can't use it. And I wish I had a whole pack of just that one piece that's my favorite. So I stamped a couple of cutie patootie little bees from the Encouraging Animals stamp set and I die cut those out with the coordinating dies. I'm gonna color those with Copics a little bit later, but first I'm gonna stamp and emboss a coordinating sentiment, also from the Encouraging Animals stamp set. It says, you're the bee's knees. I'm embossing that in white on a strip of black. I thought that'd be so cute to go along with the bees. And I'm gonna cut a little fish tail end on the end of my sentiment strip and pop it up with foam tape right along that angle of the partial die cut panel. And then I'm gonna pop up the bees, the bees knee. So I did two bees and I thought I was doing good and I was happy and everything was working out the way it should. But in the process of this, I started to remember, now I'm coloring these with Copics. Um, anyway, in the process of this, you ever heard of the rule of thirds? It's just a fancy schmancy highfalutin design term. It has to do with composition and how you place things on your card. And I knew that and I can feel that when I look at something at the composition. I feel it. I can't always explain it with words. Anyhow, I had two B's and something didn't feel right. I knew after a while I needed a third B. But where would I put the third B? So I made another B and I couldn't decide where to put the dang B. I ended up putting it down on the bottom left corner. I cropped him off as if he's flying off the edge of my card base. And I'm still on the fence whether or not I like that B. I went around and asked everybody in my family. About 80% of my family couldn't give a rip what I did with the B. The other 20 they acted like they cared. I'm not really sure if they did or not. So what do you think? Do you think I should keep the bee? I could take it off. It's easily removable. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. You're the bee's knees.